Get bash to respect quotes when word splitting subshell output. I have a command that outputs some parameters that I want to pass to another command. However, when I run the command in a subshell, the output is subject to word splitting unless I quote the whole thing, in which case it is a single word. I want the subshell output to have word split, but I want the word splitting to respect quotes, and it does not. Is there some way, other than eval, to get the subshell output split into words but respecting quotes? Details. Given the args command defined as. I can run. But I cannot find a way to get a subshell to pass two args like that. Of course, I can use eval. But eval is dangerous and introduces all kinds of other scary possibilities for things to go wrong. I do not want parameter expansion or globbing to happen again, etc. I just want word splitting to respect the quotes. Is there really no way to do that in bash? Bash really doesn't have a good way to parse a string into substrings. While respecting quotes, whether it's coming from a command expansion, that is, dollar, what I think you're calling a subshell, or a plain variable expansion, dollar bar name. If you double quote the expansion, no splitting at all is done. If you don't double quote the expansion, it splits on white space, but doesn't pay attention to quotes or escapes. It also tries to expand anything that looks like a file name wildcard, which can cause comedy and or tragedy. If you use eval on a double quoted expansion, it parses all shell syntax, including other command and variable expansions, redirects, multiple commands with, or and, etc. Lots of opportunity for bad results here. If you use eval on a non-quoted expansion, you get the splits on whitespace and expand while cards effect, followed by a regular full parsing. Pretty much everything can go wrong here. Read A is the best of a bad lot. It completely fails at respecting quotes, but at least it doesn't expand file name wildcards. So Bash itself can't do this. But Zargs can its default split into words parsing respects quotes and escapes. So depending on the situation, you might be able to use it directly. There are a couple of potential problems with this. For one thing, depending on how much output there is, Zargs might decide to split them between multiple runs of the command. You could adjust this to some extent with its N, S, and X options, but it's not entirely satisfactory. Another possible problem is that if the command is actually a shell function, complex command, or built-in you want to execute in the current shell, this won't work. You can adapt it, but it's messy. You need to use Zarg's printf% s backslash zero to convert to a null delimited sequence of strings, then use a while is equals read rd loop to convert that to a bash array, and then finally you can do something with the array. Note that this uses a process substitution with. This is a bash only feature, and won't even work when bash is in sh emulation mode. So you must start your script with an explicit bash shebang, hashtag, slash bin slash bash or hashtag slash usr slash bin slash env bash and don't override the shebang by running the script with sh script name if you want to support the show please consider liking and subscribing